guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you a lot of product empties to get through and this is for the month of May and June so we better get started. First of all, I've got um, two packs of Simple Kind to Skin Exfoliating Facial Wipes. Now, I think I mentioned these in my last empties that I just got the normal pack, um, but these are the exfoliating, and I did say I preferred these um, more. So, I've used up two packs. There's actually 25 in each, so there's a really good amount. But I just love the fact that they give your face a little mini exfoliation when you're taking off your makeup. And I really like this to get just the leftover makeup that's on my face off. So definitely will be repurchasing them again. Okay, so I've got two products here from the body shop and they're in the seaweed um, cleansing and toning range. I had these for Christmas, I wanted to try something different, I've read quite a lot of reviews on the seaweed range at the body shop and thought I'd give it a try, they looked quite good, the reviews were quite good. The cleanser was okay, it didn't really take off any makeup, it does say, well it just says a purifying cleanser for combination to oily skin. Light fresh lotion for soft, clean skin. I wouldn't call this a cleanser. It didn't really cleanse my skin as such. It was kind of just slippery and just slipped off. It was not really anything great. So won't repurchase that. Whereas the toner, I did love this. By the way, I love the smell of the seaweed. It's gorgeous. And the toner, I would repurchase. It's just a lovely, beautiful, fresh toner and I'd say this worked better definitely than the cleanser. This is the Vitamin E Body Sharp Night Cream. I had tried a few things from the Vitamin E range. Um, not a great fan of it, it didn't really do anything for my skin. It's a lovely lotion, but it just didn't sink in well and it just really wasn't for me. So it is for all skin types, but I found better night moisturisers out there. I've got a couple of Soap and Glory products here for you. I'm a really big fan of the Soap and Glory brands. They're really affordable and they do so many different things. And I recently did a review on the Sleep Accelerator on my blog. So I'll pop the blog post link down below so you can have a look at that. Now here I've got the Super Eyes Moisturising Gel. I wanted to love this, but I didn't. It just made my eyes really sting when I put it on at night. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or anything like that. It's a lovely consistency. It says it's a gel, it really sinks into the skin, it's really light. But it just really made my eyes sting. So definitely won't be repurchasing the eye cream again. The cleanser, which is the hot cloth cleanser, the Ultimel. I've used quite a few hot cloth cleansers, Elemis, Lizel Cleanse and Polish and things like that. Really love them. This is a great dupe and an affordable dupe to them hot cloth cleansers. I do really love this one but it's not great around the eye areas. Again, it makes my eyes sting a little bit. Um, I think I've actually got more sensitive eyes as I've got older. Um, so I try and avoid the eye area with this, but I do really like this as an affordable alternative and would repurchase this one again. This is a rather large bottle of the TGS Factor True Lasting Colour Shampoo. I did purchase this ages ago with the conditioner, but I use conditioner more than shampoo. So I just had the shampoo left over. Couldn't wait to get rid of this. Will not repurchase, probably won't ever repurchase such a massive bottle of shampoo. 
I just don't get through it, I get bored of it, and they say your hair gets bored of it as well if you're using the same thing for months on end. It was a nice smell, but it didn't really do anything for my hair, so probably won't be repurchasing again. On to one of my favourite products, so that already means that I'm definitely going to repurchase this again, and that is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Love the range that they have out now, they have so many flavours. It's just a really great dry shampoo and it saves me a lot of times when I don't have time to wash my hair and I'm in a rush or something like that. So really great, we'll repurchase this flavour and any of the flavours to be honest. I've got a Victoria's Secret Endless Love Body Mist. I love the Victoria's Secret Lotions and Body Mist. They are just so luxurious. I try to use them on a weekend so it makes me feel special and I do, don't use them every day so it just becomes like a chore. So I love using them at a weekend or for a special occasion. This one was really nice, Endless Love, but I prefer the Pure Seduction, the more musky, whereas this is quite fresh, this has got Apple Blossom and Ylang Ylang. Um, but they're also nice, and I still haven't tried all of them anyway. But definitely a repurchase with regards to the spray, but maybe not this scent again. I've got a Jergens Cocoa Butter Body Lotion here. Really love the Jergens body range, love their lotions, they're great for the day, they sink into the skin and they make your skin feel really moisturised. I think I had an empty of the original version in my last empties and I do prefer that one to this one, but if they didn't have the original then I'd definitely buy the cocoa butter, I think I just prefer the smell of the original one. I like that more, so, but definitely a repurchase and really affordable as well. And this was the Vera Wang Princess Foamy Body Polish and Satiny Body Lotion. I tend not to buy these on my own, I only really get bought them as gifts when they're included with the perfume. And I do really like them to make the scent last longer and I am a big fan anyway of Vera Wang Princess. So this was really nice to go with it. The body polish is not so much of a polish, it's more like a shower gel with tiny particles in, but it doesn't really scrub your skin. And the body lotion was gorgeous, but wouldn't repurchase them separately. They're far too expensive and there's so many nicer scented body lotions that you can get a lot more affordable like the Victoria's Secret one. I also have the same in the Jean Paul Gaultier. I've got the perfume shower gel and perfume body lotion. I do actually prefer these um, with regards to the scent and buying the lotion and shower gel. I probably repurchase these more than the Vera Wang Princess ones. They're very highly scented and definitely make your perfume last longer. Next, I've got this Cuccio Body Butter. This is in Milk and Honey. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a great dupe for the Body Shop Body Butter. It sinks into the skin gorgeously. I'd say this is a little bit thinner in consistency compared to the Body Butter. I like to use the Body Butter at night from the Body Shop because it does take a while to sink in. But this one is great for day, definitely would repurchase this again. I'm a big fan of mini hand lotions to pop in my bag, in the car, wherever I am. It's really good, I love moisturising my hands, they keep my nails great. Um, and I've got a couple here, I've got the Bliss Snow Wonder Hand Cream and the OPI Ever Juice in Violet Orchid. Both would repurchase these again, they're both completely different consistencies. I tend to use the Bliss one at night because it's more of a butter, so it's a lot thicker, but I prefer this at night as a luxury hand lotion treatment. And then the other juice I would use during the day. Love this as well, it's an absolutely gorgeous smell. I'm a big fan of the OPI other juices anyway, in all the flavours. They're so potent, you only need a tiny bit and it goes a long way. So really big fan of these and would repurchase. I've got 
the Hugo Boss Deep Red Fragrance. I bought this when I was going on holiday last year in duty free. It's a very nostalgic fragrance for me as it reminds me of my teens and things like that when I used to go out partying. I really love this perfume but there is so many other beautiful perfumes out there now that this is not always top of my list so I will repurchase this but I wouldn't repurchase it anytime soon because I love so many other perfumes now as well. This is the NYX Curve Eyeliner. This came out either last year or the year before, I can't quite remember. I did a review on this as well, I'll link the blog post down below as well so you can check it out. Um, I don't know what I really think of this. It's something new to me, I've never used a felt tip eyeliner and especially this odd shape. But the shape is like this so you can get the winged eyeliner. I did really like it actually the more I used it. It is a really good eyeliner and I think I mentioned in my blog post I'm not actually the best at doing winged eyeliner and this did take a few goes but it did make it a little bit easier. Um, it's lasted really well but it has kind of dried up now so it's time to throw it away. Not sure if I'd repurchase again just because I'm a more a fan of the gel eyeliners. They last really well for me. This did last well, but with regards to eyeliner, I definitely like gel and pencil eyeliners more. But you should check it out if you're looking for something a little bit different. Got a Bobbi Brown blush here. This is in Peony, um, number 16. Really beautiful, bright pink if you just want a pop of colour on the cheeks. This took me ages to use up, so really good in regards to, although it's a little bit expensive, it does last ages. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase this particular one, because now I really like the MAC Dolly Mix one. Um, that This one's more of a matte shade, whereas Dolly Mix has got a slight shimmer, but they're both the same kind of colour, and I do prefer MAC Dolly Mix with regards to, compared to this one. So probably won't repurchase this one again, but it is a great matte pink blush. So guys, that concludes my May and June product empties. I hope you found this video useful and it gave you some tips on purchasing what products are good and what products are not so good. What have been your June favorites this month? I'd love to know in the comments below. I will be posting my June favourites next week, so keep a lookout for that. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos, like and comment, and also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!